Jaywick Baby Live is something that we can all do together. Where we can talk about how we're coping with self-isolation. Where we can talk about coronavirus. Where we can talk about what we are all doing to make life better. It's just a bit of interaction with each other. So you tell me what you've been doing, where you've been going, how you're coping with self-isolation. We are allowed to go out for exercise every day. We are allowed to go out and exercise and walk our dog once a day. We're allowed to go shopping when we need to. They're the only, and we're allowed to go out and help people with medical problems if they're connected to you and there's no one else that can help them. So with each other, we can help each other overcome. So it's nice to hear your feedback. How are you coping? How are you getting through this? There's no point talking about the things that we already know about. We know that we can't go out. We know that staying home saves lives. So there's nothing else we need to know. We, we need to stay home and save lives. But while we're at home, we can communicate with each other and we can say to each other, oh, how are you getting through it? What are you doing to get through it? And not hate, not jealous, not hurt, not lie, not fake profile. Keep it real, keep it love, keep it shine every day, every night. So I am here to try and start off a new movement. The movement I wanna start is happiness in times of crisis. How we overcome the boredom, how we overcome the relentlessness, how we overcome staying indoors every day, every night. Let me give you some tips. Be creative. Now, things you like doing when you were younger, how about trying to redo them as an adult? You know, little things. If you liked drawing when you were young, start drawing now. If you liked playing guitar, play guitar. Anything you like doing, we need to keep doing it again. This is how we get over the Jaywick daily lives. We need to like communicate with each other, ask each other how we're getting through this, encourage each other on getting through this, give each other words of wisdom, tell each other positive things. This is Jaywick Daily Live. Every day I am going to go live for an hour to talk about daily things in Jaywick. It doesn't matter if no one talks to me, I can talk for an hour, no problem. And I will talk about all the things that I am doing and things that I know people are doing to get over this. And I hope that through this, it encourages one person, it encourages one person to be happy and to make more of life. It's up to us, ladies and gentlemen. It's up to you and to me to make life better. Now, I'm, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking alcohol because that would make me even more depressed. So let me give you a tip. If you want to have a good time, don't drink alcohol because alcohol, basically, it wears off. Then if you felt a bit sad before you drunk and then you drunk you are going to feel a lot worse in the morning and when the drink wears off you're going to think there's no point drinking it's not going to solve this problem to solve this problem we need to all stay at home and we need to all self-isolate that is how we solve this problem not by drinking ourselves to death or talking self-pity or crying every day or basically, you know, BS. So please, let's talk together. Jaywick Daily Live is not just for people in Jaywick. Jaywick Daily Live is anybody that knows Jaywick. Anybody that's come to Jaywick on holiday, Anybody that's got any connection with Jaywick, get involved in Jaywick Daily Live, where we get over all of the hurt and all of the pain and all of the grief by communicating with each other. So Diane has just said, I am going crazy in-house. Diane, you are not the only one. Lots and lots of people are going very crazy, but you cannot be lazy. You must override your craziness and make it productive. Now, as I said, do not drink alcohol. Alcohol will really mess you up. Do not drink alcohol at all. Because alcohol will make you get more self-pity and make you feel sadder. So stay away from alcohol. You want to work on your hobbies. <coughs> you want to work on your hobbies. You want to work on your skills. So, for example, read books. We've all got books. Find them books that you've always wanted to read. And totally turn the television off. 
Totally turn the radio off and go into the book. And you will basically get something that we used to get when we were children. When we were children, we used to read books. And our imagination made what we thought reading a reality. Now that works as for adults as well. You might think, oh, I'm older now. Books won't have the same effect. Well, you will be wrong. Books have a better effect. Books basically take you to the lives of the people that you believe in. I am a big fan of the Beatles. I love John Lennon. I love Paul McCartney. So I'm reading John Lennon books. And they are amazing. You get to hear about John Lennon at the time. In 1958, in 1959, you go to Hamburg with him. You go on his adventures. And no film, no documentary can take you as far in to John Lennon as reading a John Lennon book that he wrote himself or someone that was very close to him wrote. You learn all about the things that you thought you knew about just by reading a book. Reading a book, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely amazing. And I recommend reading a book more often. And then you can play with your animals, your cats, your dogs, your fish, parrots. Spend time with them and love them. Clean them, nurture them. Spend lots of time with our pets. And if you've got a partner, you can dance with your partner and you can tell them how much you love them and you can plan things with your partner. You can plan where you're going in the future. And I would advise you not to tell Facebook every personal plan that you have. I mean, I, I love Facebook for the genuine people, for the real profiles. I love, I love Facebook for that reason. But what I do not like about Facebook is people that make up fake profiles. So really someone that is called A is really pretending to be someone that is B. So you don't know who you're talking to anymore. So that ruins it for the real genuine people because the real genuine people don't know who's genuine anymore. So I sometimes make the mistake of feeling a lot of hurt towards Facebook because a lot of people on Facebook are trying to hurt me with their fake profiles, with their fake lives, with them waiting for you to make mistakes. They don't credit you on the good that you do. They only ever highlight the mistakes you make. They notice a cigarette in an ashtray. Oh, that's really important. But they don't notice that you stopped your car and that an old person crossed the road. They don't notice that you gave someone something because they had nothing. They don't notice that you've done something for someone because no one else would do it for them. They don't mention none of that. What they mention is that they saw you have a drink last night or they saw that you walked funny or they saw that your shirt wasn't done up. God, please tell me something that is worth telling me. I mean, I am often shocked by how low people go on here. People are so low. I think, do they have a price for their soul? Do they know that your soul is not an organ? You can place your heart, your liver, your kidneys, you can place them on a table. But your soul is something that you can't place on the table. Your soul is not an organ. Your soul is not an object. Your soul is a bit of imagination that is something beyond life. And if you want to go to the next part of life, which is not living all the time, then you need to know your soul. And your soul is something that we should all know. And you need to be honest to yourself for your soul to be happy. If you lie to yourself, then your soul will know that. So you really, really, really need to be at one with your soul. And you need to not lie to yourself. The minute you lie to yourself, and then other people will start lying to you too. I believe in myself. And I believe in the few people that believe in me too. And I do, be, I do believe in most people. Even though I don't agree with it, I do, I, I, do, I do like what I see. I love people that are creative. I love people that do things for others. I love the people that do the keep fit classes for all the other people, so they keep fit together. So I'm doing something that I'm good at. I'm good at talking to people. I'm good at bringing people together. So through my daily JWIC Life videos that I make, I'm hoping to bring people together. So today I notice not many people are speaking and I'm doing all the talking. And I don't mind. I'm just hoping that the, the more often I do this, I'm hoping more people will start talking to me too, where we can actually communicate together things that are of importance, things that are real. I mean, it doesn't matter if, if we're saying loads and loads of things that mean nothing. That doesn't mean anything. What means something is real things, things that actually make a difference to people's lives. And that is what I'm trying to achieve here. And it won't be easy. I've got to dig deep. And once I've dug that hole, then I won't sit down because it's time to dig another hole. And all our lives, we are trying to get more. 
and we're trying to do more and we're trying to like get to the next step but how about we enjoy this step how about we enjoy where we are today how about where we are right now is a very good place to be and if we had thought about our lives today when we were younger then we might be very happy where we are because when i was little living in jaywick with no job no opportunities and i kept driving before i got a license which meant i got banned before i got a license which meant i was basically driving without a license because i was bored and i was very hurt from my mum dying i didn't really care about myself so i kept doing silly things to overcome the boredom and before i knew it I'd lost three years of my driving license before I got a driving license because I was so impatient to do something more in my life. You know what? At the age of 17, I was driving to London in a car because I thought, you know, I wanted to get out of Jaywick and I wasn't thinking of the consequences. I wasn't thinking about insurance. I did it all wrong in my life. I basically passed my test when I was 17, passed my driving license. But what I didn't plan on was the insurance. Because I got points and I got banned before I was able to drive, my insurance was something like two and a half thousand pounds back in 1993? When did I pass my test? 17. 1992. So in 1992, I went to a place, to an insurance company, and they wanted two and a half thousand pounds for me to drive my car. Plus I had to buy the car, plus I needed MOT, plus I needed tax. It just went way beyond me. I just thought, am I ever going to get out of here? It's not, it's, I do love Jaywick, but as a kid, I wanted to go to where people were, where opportunities were. I lived in London for a couple of years between the ages of 17, 18, 19 and 20 because there was work there, there was opportunity and there was sunshine people. And it was the early 1990s, man. Trust me, London was a great place to be. It's, London's a great place to be now, let alone London's always a great place to be. Can you imagine being in a car with me? And five of my friends going from Jaywick to London. Wow. What an experience. And I did it, first of all, I did it all legal. Because I was legal. I brought my insurance. I passed my test. But then, then one dark day, my car crashed. I don't know how it happened, but it crashed. And I lost my license. But me, Danny Sluggett, I weren't having that. I thought it was a conspiracy. I, my mum had just died. I was still in Jaywick. The work was in London, not in Jaywick. I had to get to London, but I had bowel conditions. I had to drive back to Clapton every day and sign at the police station at a certain time. Otherwise, they'd lock me up. But I was going to London and I forgot that I had to sign on. Then I broke my bowel conditions and then there's bad assurities on me and then that got lost. Then I went to prison. All because I was just trying to drive my car out of Jaywick to get a job in London. And that was my only crime. And it was soul destroying. But I didn't give up, ladies and gentlemen. I continued to dream. To me, them days were dark, but I kept working. And I basically learned that to work, works. Once you work, you get paid for it. And that money can be used to be legal in a car, to get MOT, to get insurance. Once I learned that was the way to go in life, then that was something I can teach you. Remember two words, work works, shine on. So together we can overcome boredom. Together we can overcome self-isolation. We just need to communicate with each other more, talk about our past, and maybe my past could help someone's future. I know that people's futures helped my past. And I've always listened to people. I've always been inspired by people. And together we are stronger. So sometimes you need to admit that you're wrong. Sometimes we're not always right. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm right. So what? Who cares? As long as you're in it and you're doing it and you're trying to make a difference, then who can actually compare you to anybody else apart from yourself? You know, I write, I write poems because I have a lot in my head. I have a lot of dreams and I feel that I have failed some days by not living my dreams. So to get over failing, I write a poem and that kind of does all the things that I wanted to do in a poem. So I don't know how people can compare my poems to what they're thinking when I wrote it for what I was thinking for my reason. So even though the poem is called something, it's not relevant to that person. It's relevant to me and it's my story. But if people, if people can see relevance from my poems, 
then that's really good. But it doesn't mean that you can like have a go at me or say, oh, that's not right, because it is right for me. That was how I was at that time. So it was right, and it is right for me. So how can you say that something that is not right for you is not right for me when I wrote it 14 years ago? Now that is not, that is nothing to do with anybody. If I want to write about things and I want to read them out 15 years later, please don't judge me on what I do. You can you can enjoy them or you can not enjoy them. But you don't need to like tell me what, what your life story about me because nothing you say will stop me doing what I do. I do what I do because I need to, because I want to, because I need to, because I believe in myself. And people love me and believe in me too. Just because a few people that haven't known me all my life don't agree with me, doesn't mean I'm going to stop being me. I will never stop being me. That is my right. It is my right to stand up for my country and myself. And if you don't like it, you can shine off. I will continue to shine on and I will not let anybody brainwash me. And if I want to do what I want to do, then I will. And I don't care if no one watches my videos. I watch my videos. People that love me watch my videos. People all over the world tell me to keep making my films. Why would I let a few people on Facebook, a few people on Twitter, ruin my dream? No way. You do not stand a chance. You will never stop Danny Sluggett Vision. You will never come near me, Jaywick Daywick Daily Live. I will quite happily talk for one hour a day about my life. And that might help someone else's life. But guess what? Do not judge me. I'm honest, I am real. And that is nothing you can steal. So nothing you will say will ever hurt me. I will block you, I will delete you, and I will forget about you. And I will never think about you ever, ever again. How about that for an answer? I don't need you. You don't need me. We don't need anybody. All we need is to treat people as we want to be treated ourselves. If I don't like something, if I don't agree with something, I don't write about this so everybody can see it. If it's very important, I will personally DM someone and say, oh, by the way, I think you're a bit out of line with what you're posting. And, and I'll try and help them. But I wouldn't publicly do it because to me, that's attention seeking. And when people publicly put things on Facebook, they know everyone else can see it. They're doing it mainly for themselves because they want people to think that they're the person that had the strength to say, oh, why this, why that, why that? I can see what you're doing. I know what you're doing. It's all for attention. It doesn't work for me. I don't do things for attention. I do things for real life. I do things for Jaywick. I don't do it for myself. I do it for the people that I really care about. And people know who I am. And I do never, ever, ever have to answer to you. Never. You make me laugh. You make me cry. You make me want to do somersaults. You make me dream. Because of you, I do more. Your hurt, your jealousy, your hate makes Danny Sluggett do more. Because you people, I feed off of you. I see what not to be. Facebook shows me what nothing. Why would we need to be someone else? We only need to be ourselves. And why would any us to them? There's no need for it. So please be yourselves. Please enjoy yourself. Jaywick Daily Live. You've just heard all of my life story because no one is talking to me, which I don't mind. So you watch me and I will tell you my life story. And I can do that every single day because I've had a really good life. I've made my life good. And even if I've had bad things happen in my life, I overcome it with doing better. I want so much more than what I know. How about that? I want so much more than what I know. This is not enough for me. I have, I have basically got bored of myself. Over the next few years, I am going to do so much more. I am going to be walking around places with just a rucksack. I am going to go missing and film it. I'm just going to walk around the mountains. I'm going to walk around rivers. I'm just going to go places and walk around them. And maybe I can inspire some people to do more of their lives. Because I'm going to inspire myself to do more of my life. And if that inspires someone else to do more of their life, then my dream has come true. I want to do more of my life. Maybe I can make you do more of your life. But I don't think arguing, comparing and hurting people on Facebook is actually good for anybody. I do not think it's good for anybody at all. I think what is good for you is to be yourself. And if you've forgotten who you are, 
then maybe you need to put your head inside a bucket of cold water. And then maybe you'll wake up. Because, baby, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many people that are asleep. There are so many people that are not living to their full capability. I love everybody. I love everybody. Yeah, I've got something. Someone's just said something here. All I've got to say is all people that disrespect the government rules and not giving fuck about the vulnerable, you deserve to get a big fine. Stay home, save lives. Very well said, Beep. Very well said. All I've got to say is all people that disrespect the government rules and not giving a fuck about <coughs> the vulnerable, you deserve to get big fines. Stay home, save lives. How hard is that? Well said. Well said. Now, I have just done 14 days isolation, which is very hard for me. Today was my 15th day. So I went shopping. I'm allowed to go shopping. I've got a car. I pay tax. I went shopping. And I took my family with me because they wanted some shopping thing. They wanted some things that I can't say on here. But they wanted... They wanted some personal things. Ooh. Who shot the sheriff? But I didn't shoot the deputy. It wasn't me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was really well said, Beep. Beep Sims. That is what I've been trying to say for the last 14 days. Stay home. Save lives. Isolate. I am doing my one, my exercise every day now because I've done 14 days lockdown. I'm allowed to go exercising every day. I've got a French bulldog that needs walking. I need walking. So I am going to walk to the beach to keep my distance from everybody and I'm going to do my daily exercise. That is my right. I've done my 14 days. Now I'm going to exercise every single day. And I will make videos when I exercise because that is what I do. And I will show people that we are living to the rules and we are self-isolating. Just could I go out to do my daily exercise? Please do not attack me. Because I am doing my self-isolation. And I am staying in. And I would recommend to all of you to do the same. That's why I've invented Jaywick Daily, Jay Jay Daily Live. Live Because I want people to talk about these messages. I want people to encourage each other to stay home. Exactly. Just wash your hands. Tell numb. Perfect. Because most people are comfortably dumb. Aren't they? <coughs> <coughs> so that's a great point by Beep. We love Beep. Well said. Uh, Diane, pick Danny, why are, why are so happy today? The reason I am so happy today is because I have done my 14 days self-isolation. I didn't go out exercising. I stayed in. I did my time. So now I can go out and exercise. Now I can go shopping. Yes, I've done my time, but we must all continue to do our time. There is no excuse for anybody to go outside unless they're doing that exercise, unless they're helping someone with medical purposes, unless they're going for essential shopping. You can't just go shopping for a bag of tea bags. You can't just go shopping for a pint of milk. You need to kind of go two or three times a week for the essentials. You can't be going there just for like a packet of chocolate biscuits. They're not essential. But when you need bread, milk and real food, then you've got a reason to go shopping. But please don't take the piss. Don't take the piss out of the government because you're, you're, you taking the piss puts people at risk, their lives. And we do not want to do this. It's about being real. Yeah, people might not like me. They might not like my films. Who cares what you think? I don't care. Why would you care about me? Nobody cares. But what we care about is stopping coronavirus, stopping taking people's lives. That's what we care about. It's the real things. So together, we stand, divided we fall. Can we please all self-isolate? Can we all please communicate? Can we all share our memories of how we can help people in the future? Our past, what we've lived through, can help people in the future. We can, we can stop people making we can stop people making mistakes by talking about our mistakes. And I've got I've got no I've got nothing to it ain't always about success. Yeah, you know, sometimes you fall over, sometimes you break a foot, sometimes you're hurt, sometimes someone you love leaves you, sometimes someone you love dies, sometimes one of your pets gets run over, sometimes someone you really care about surprises you and leaves you. But it's life. We get over it. It's it's us that they loved. 
And if we don't stay ourselves, then how can they ever love us? I don't see why people should ever try and be someone else. All we can be is ourselves. And it doesn't matter if we don't like that person. What we like is that that person is genuine. And that person, when they're drunk, when they're sober, they still support Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now, I have been in pubs. I have been in places in my life where when a certain person is sober, they support, say, Man United. But when they drunk, they then support West Brom. You tell me about that. How can someone support two different football teams just because they've had a drink? Now that, now that there's no need for that. You should always know what team you support, whatever you've drunk. And you should always know who you are. Whatever's going on. If you have a drink, if you don't have a drink, if you go somewhere, if you're with different people, your opinion should always be the same. That's what it is about being yourself. You can't be no one else. You should only ever be yourself. And if people just, just were themselves, then there'd be no expectations to be anybody else. This is Jaywick Daily Live, where we are trying to keep people sane, where we are trying to keep people themselves. So, is someone else going to say something? Because I've said quite a lot. But this is Jaywick Daily Live. And this is where we talk to each other about life, about real life about staying at home to save lives. Now, that is what real life is about. That's what JWIC is about. We might not have the same infrastructure as the rest of the world, but what we do know is that the sun sets and the sun rises every single day, and no one can tell me any different. I will guarantee you tomorrow that the sun will rise, and I will guarantee you tomorrow that the sun will set. And what more can anyone else say, apart from be yourself? You can't be no one else. Shine on Jaywick Daily Live. I'm quite enjoying this now. I am quite enjoying this. But I want other people to get involved like I am. I want people to learn from their past. I am not saying I'm perfect. I have made mistakes. And I will continue to make mistakes. And that is what is good about me. Because I don't mind making mistakes. Because I know that I will hopefully not make that mistake again. If I can help someone else not make that mistake then my mistakes were worth making. But how about you share your mistakes as well so we can not go through your mistakes. We can all be, we can all make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. It means that we are human. I'm not going to say the song. So let's see what else what people have been saying. Thank you, everybody, for your, for listening to me. Thank you for um, being part of Jaywick Daily Live. I do believe that I am Jaywick and I love Jaywick with all my heart for the last 34 years. So together... We can talk about how we are overcoming coronavirus, how we are self-isolating, and the tips that we are, the tips that we tell each other can maybe help someone through this crisis. Here we go, the next person. Danny, why are you so, you know why I'm happy, but I've done my 14 days of isolation. Shine on. Here we go, me too. Beep, I love what you say, very wise words. Great man, great person, beep, shine on. So here we go. Um, that's essential. You know that. Thank you. What you said was well said. I need people to tell me if I make mistakes. And I'll put my hand up and say sorry. And then maybe we can learn together to not make mistakes. But making mistakes is part of being human. I mean, who doesn't make mistakes? Even the fat cats make mistakes. They've just got the money to hide it. But guess what? Real people don't need to hide it. Real people will speak about it and shine on. Mistakes make you make you human. When you make mistakes, you know that you are human. And there is nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Who else has got something to say? It's ha happy Club is tonight at 7pm. The Javik Sounds Happy Club is the first Thursday of the month. And it will be on in 50 minutes. I'm just doing Javik Daily Live. This is part of the coronavirus to bring people together. And I'm talking about all the things that I've done so people don't make the same mistake as me. And I'm just teaching people to be themselves because they can't be nobody else. And why would they pretend to be someone that they are not? Because people that pretend to be something they are not will be very disappointed because all the people that are real will leave them eventually. Because who wants to be with someone that is fake? Nobody. We all make mistakes, mate. Yes, we do. We all make mistakes. Doesn't mean we could live, live in mistakes. People should forgive you and move on. Or don't forgive and ignore them. But do not daily hurt them because you are not happy with them. If people make mistakes, so what? We get on with it. We learn. How else will we learn if we didn't make mistakes? 
The trouble is, some people think mistakes are a reason for them to attack you. But them people are no good. Them people are, are them people, them people that attack you are hiding something much bigger than what they know about you. How about that? The people that attack you have got bigger secrets than what you have. They love to, to dish dirt on people. They love to uh, they love to hurt people. Because it takes all of all of the attention away from themselves. They think that they are like God's gift. They think that, oh, no one will know about my mistake because I'm going to attack everybody else on their mistake. But guess what? You have just opened the door. We all know that you are hiding much bigger things. It don't matter to me what you're hiding. Who cares? Just be happy, live your life, and stay home and save lives. How about that? That's the only thing that matters. Stay home and save lives. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have just done Jaywick Daily Live, and I have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed reminiscing about me leaving Jaywick, going to London for a better life, getting in trouble doing it. I don't mind. At the end of the day, at least I was me. At least I am real. And I want all of you to do the same. I want you all to be real too. Jaywick Daily Live is a place where we can all talk to each other about real life. There's no disguising. There's no makeup. What you see is what you get. How about that? Uh, this coronavirus is going to go on for another few months. Yes, it will go on for a few months. So Jaywick Daily Live is going to be very important for us all. If we're going to be locked up for months to come, then it's important for us all to get things off our chest and not be personal with each other. You can DM people for personal. But on here, you can openly talk about all of your insecurities and what you're doing to overcome being locked up and how we can help each other make the world a better place. Jaywick Daily Live will offer people a place to speak their souls. And as soon as someone starts mentioning names and being specific to someone, I will block them because I do not do that. I do not publicly like seeing people shaming people. I do, I do not like people publicly messaging people because how can you answer honestly, publicly, when there's so many people with fake accounts always trying to bring you down? I personally have been on television many, many times. And I have been on te all the television channels. And I've got quite a big following all over the world. I would not let a few people on Facebook ruin what I've achieved and what I'm going to achieve and what I'm continuing to daily do. Just because I don't tell you what I'm doing doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. I am doing great things for people. And a lot of people do not want to be... A lot of people do not want to be filmed. So I personally help them without filming them. They ask me, they say, Danny, do not film me. I say, okay, I will not film you. So I am still doing what I always have done. Just because I don't make films about it, don't mean that I am not doing what I do. I am doing what I do secretly because I'm fed up with people publicly grabbing the attention for themselves. I don't do it for attention. I do it because I'm able to help and more people can help as well. But they're so fat, they can't get off their asses. So how about more people help others? And that is a great thing to do. Shine on. Hello, Chris. You look a lot better, Dan. Thank you, Chris. I feel a lot better. I've, I've done seven days of being really ill. I'm still coughing a bit now. <coughs> I'm still coughing, but not as often. And I got over the worst of the flu or coronavirus after about seven to eight days. But I continue to self-isolate for the full 16 days because that is what we are meant to do. And now, today was my first day out, and I went for a little walk, and I went shopping. I didn't film my walk, but I might film it tomorrow. But just because I film, I am allowed one hour exercise a day, and just because I film that, don't think that I am breaking self-isolation rules. I am not. I am self-isolating all of the time. But the government said I'm allowed one hour exercise, and I'm allowed to go shopping for essential things. And I will go shopping two or three times a week, and I will go for my exercise every single day because I've got a French bulldog and his name is Dylan and he needs to be walked. You cannot not walk your dog. If you've got a dog, you need to walk it. And I need to walk myself. Plus, I've got a few family members that need walking. We don't want to turn into Oompa Loompas. We don't want to turn into little fatties. So we've got to keep fit. Fit, fit, fit. Keep walking, keep exercising, shine on. You must exercise. You must self-isolate. You must stay home. 
to save lives. So what else we got here? Thank you, Chris. I do feel a lot better and I must look better as well. Don't forget, Chris, the Javits Sands Happy Club is on here in 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So please, everybody, tune in and tell me what we can do to help others. And let's keep the Javits Sands Happy Club alive. There'll be a lot of people that think they can do what I do. But guess what? You can think again. You will never do what I do because you will never be me. I am me, you are you. And that is how it is. So please leave me alone and let me be me. And I will leave you alone and I will let you be you. And I would never, ever stop someone being who they are. If someone is the way they are, then let them be that way. If you don't like it, then you've got to go your own way. But the trouble is, people that try to change people, they should actually try to be themselves. And they will realise that they don't need to change in any way at all. Just be yourself. Do your knitting. Do, do your blogging. Do you, Watch your fish. Watch your TV. Smoke your cigarettes. Drink your drink. Rub your chin. Rub your nose. Play with your hair. Do whatever you want. But be yourself. And that is all I'm ever going to be. And if you can do that, then that makes me happy. And may, maybe my this programme that I've invented... Jaywick Daily Live, maybe this program that I am making, people will be able to be more honest with themselves and with me, where we can be ourselves and encourage other people to be themselves. And if we don't like something, we can ignore it. We don't need to publicly tell everybody that we don't like something. To me, that is attention seeking, and we can all see what you really are. So shine on everybody. I hope you enjoyed this program that I created. I called it Jaywick Daily Live because I'm self isolating in Jaywick and I am daily here. So if I do live programs from Jaywick daily, then it would be called exactly what it is. Jaywick daily live. So please everybody wash your hands. Please everybody stay safe. Please everybody stay at home. The only way we're going to beat coronavirus is to stay home. Staying home saves lives. Thank you for everybody that listened to me. And I hope tomorrow when we do this, it'll be tomorrow afternoon, uh, tomorrow evening, Jaywick Daily Live. He, has, he hasn't got a set time. It'll be in the morning, afternoon, or night. It'll be random every day because we, we are not, we are not, um, we are not brainwashed. We don't need to like do something at a certain time every day because then you might become that certain way. I like to be free flow. I like to be random. I like to be myself. I would like you all to be yourselves as well because you can't be nobody else. And we can really see who you are when you are not being yourself. So please don't ever be anybody else. Please just be yourselves and please shine on. Stay home, save lives. This was the first ever edition of Jaywick Daily Live. Please stay home. Please stay lives, save lives. Today is the 2nd of April, the year 2020. And if you save home, even you can save lives. Remember the date. The 2nd of April. Shine on.